Hello everyone, this is Walking Problem. Uh, just when we think that uh, Pritam Singh's situation uh, or the Workers' Party leadership situation is not going to get any worse than it already is, a new challenger has appeared. And this is someone that we already largely forgotten, Yao Xin Leong. Yao Xin Leong was the, sub, the original successor to uh, Lo Tia Kiang. He was... Uh, when Lo Tia Kiang go to run for our unit, uh, Yao Xin Leong was actually the one holding the fort at uh, Haogang SMC. And then he was resigned um, after he had an affair with someone. Uh, someone, I think, I don't know, is an assistant or some resident or something like that. So, and then uh, that scandal caused him to have to resign. Although I personally have no freaking idea why personal issues uh, involved politics. Lah. Like, you have sex with that person, why he has anything to do with the residents. So, it's not like you are a pastor or some religious leader. Anyway, um, that's my stand. Lah. But, anyway, uh, he got sacked. So, then... Because I never really watched the Workers' Party press conference, so I didn't know what was as actually said in that press conference. And then suddenly I saw this uh, this headline, I was like, what? <laughs> so, Yao Xin Leong breaks silence, claim uh, WP asked him to stay silent in 2012 after allegation, uh, after 2012 after affair allegations. Basically, what essentially means is that Yao Xin Leong is corroborating with what Raisa Khan has said. Raisa Khan told the Committee of Privileges in the hearing that she already told Pritam Singh early on, within a week, within a week of her lie in Parliament, that, and she admitted it, I think five days after. And WP leadership, which is essentially Pritam Singh, since uh, from what I can observe, the power is all consolidated within him or be between him and Sylvia Lim. And um, Pritam Singh basically told uh, Rei Sakan to keep quiet. And Yao Xin Leong is now corroborating the exact same thing. So in his post, moments ago, an ex, so this 16 hours ago, uh, so an ex WP cadre pointed to me the video recordings of Workers' Party's chief Pritam Singh's press conference. At the 9.35 mark, Pritam Singh commented, Yao Xin Leong did not account himself to the party. So uh, Yao Xin Leong is now known as Amos Rao. Amos is not a good, is not a good name. Uh, change that name. That is a bad, terrible name. But anyway, Yao, she, Yao Xin Leong did not account himself to the party after the allegations were made. I think he did not address the media, did not address the party. The party was willing to give him some space to get himself organized. And this just went on. And it went on to a point where it was unreasonable conduct. And this was not acceptable. And so the party took the decision to fire him, to sack him. So Yao Xin Leong said, the above is not true. Even before the allegations have surfaced, I accounted the situation candidly to WP Secretary General LTK, Lo Tia Kiang. So basically he's saying that uh he I'm not sure how how is how do you say he I well, better don't okay let's not go there. So when the allegations surfaced I immediately accounted to both WP Secretary General Lo Tia Kiang and Chairman Sylvia Lim. I was advised to stay Silence, silent. So note the similarity between the current situation, the current saga, and that saga. Huh? Someone is consistent, uh, or some parts of these things is consistent. Uh, I meant the the one of the person is consistently around, huh? So I place party first before self, and to minimize the fallout, I kept silent and resigned from the WPCC. His intention was to give the WPCEC a blank check to paint the narrative required. To facilitate the process, I traveled out of 
Singapore voluntarily. On 14 Feb 2012, he was expelled from WP for breaking the faith, trust and expectations of the party and the people. And he's okay with the narrative, but he's not okay with what Pritam has said for he did account for himself. So he also added that he's not going to enter, entertain, uh, entertain any uh, media queries and will leave the above as it is. So um, again, I will have to emphasize, uh, it's a stupid thing la, to actually resign for. La. But anyway, um, so, so what is consistent is that in Raya Sia Khan and Liu, uh, Yao Xin Leong cases, both of them, they are instructed to keep silent about uh, their misgivings or their mistakes. And um, this is a consistent trend uh, in Workers' Party. I'm not sure it's, it's because uh, the power is all monopolized within the top leadership, which is probably only one to one to two person or three person. So in the old day case, it was uh, Lo Tia Kiang and Sylvia Lim. To this case, it was Pritam Singh and Sylvia Lim. So not, uh, notice the similarity and I do not sure who is the one that would actually give such a stupid advice as to keep quiet. The last thing you want to do in politics is to keep quiet. You should always stand out, stand up, immediately address the issue and take control of the situation. Because when you don't take control of the situation, the media will take over for you. Or your political rival will do that for you. And you really do not want to go there. Um, so the reason, so for, so the context, I, I forgot to go into the context. So, um, where is the part? So the background was that uh, Pritam Singh was asked by the media about Yao. And then the reporter asked the time it took is one month for WP to move on Yao and move, move on Yao. That means uh, to act on her, which was shorter than the three months that they acted on uh, Raisa Khan. So, Pritam Singh said that uh, the two incidents are different in nature and that uh, Reza's episode occurred in parliament and thus parliamentary record had to be set right. So I think this part, uh, this part actually refers to him helping Raisa Khan draft the speech. This is silly. You don't have to do that. Just open the press conference. Just admit it. Done. And then parliament, parliament settle again. So you don't have to address within parliament. You can do you just admit the fault, just admit that you lie. You don't have to be in parliament to do that. You can do that with a presser. So but the key point is WP have this bad habit. When something goes wrong, they want to keep quiet. And they want to you know if they can bring it to their grave, just like, just like what Raisa Khan has uh, said in her statement. And uh, this is not just you know for the Yao case, which now he revealed to be the story, but it also happened for the Aljunit GRC issue. In the Aljunit GRC uh, saga, the previous the PAP uh, team that uh, previously you know, managed the uh, Aljunit GRC, they actually developed a software to manage you know, the, all the conservative, uh, con conservancy charge kind of thing. All the, you know, all, the, all the money that they're supposed to collect from all the residents, they have a proper software to do it and they actually spend money to develop it in-house in or themselves. They own the software. So before the election uh, where PAP lost to Workers' Party, they they gave the software basically they sold it for one dollar i think uh, or sold it for some stupid little bit of money to a one dollar company which is which the directors are pap members and then they lease it back to alginate grc which then every monday they have alginate have to pay 
money for something that they actually ori originally owned. So that do, do, did not make sense. And then Workers' Party, when they took over, they realized this situation. But instead, and, and they know that this company is not also not going to work with them, including the the company that is supposed to to you know, handle all the rubbish cleaning. So instead of you know, meeting all these people and then talk it out, and then if they cannot get what they want, they should go go to press and say, you know, there is corruption happening in Aljunit GRC. We are uh, taking over a rubbish kind of situation. They did not do that. The inf instead, they actually preempt the before the meeting. They already started to uh, convert Alkang SMC uh, software for Aljunit use. They started to spend money to try to upgrade it, and then. Um, which of course took a damn long time, like one year, I think one year or two years to get it sorted out, which is kind of stupid. And then they, 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 I think they were really, I think from my memory is that they were rude or they kind of like, you know, dismissive of uh, the meeting with the previous vendor. I think something like that. So they preempt and then, but there's no need to do that. They don't have to keep quiet. They don't have to deal with the problem silently. They should have just make a big hoo-ha about it. They should open the press conference, invite the press over and tell them the truth that the PAP party took the took the town council software and gave it to a PAP company and then lease it back so that to... And then in the end, the town council have end up with no software. And then they sold it to a company without a proper, you know, proper bidding to a company that have no track record, a company that only have worth one dollar, and why would this company be earning money from the town council for the software that is developed by the town council? They should have whacked them, but no, they kept quiet and then developed their own software. You know, then it's like I have no freaking idea why Workers Party like to work this way. They always keep quiet. Same thing, all the problems with the check, the own own self check own self kind of like you know. You are the head of the company, and then you also work in the town council, and then you're supposed to pay yourself check, and then you sign yourself and countersign, your, kind of countersign for yourself. How can this kind of thing happen? All these things should have been clamped down immediately. Immediately, who is responsible should be sacked or should be punished. This kind of thing cannot happen, should not happen, because you are the number two biggest party in Singapore. And now again, we see the same bad habit happening again. Where be, I think this is the this problem is because all the power is concentrated within just maybe two or three percent, and then as a result, right, these two or three percent cannot really actually handle so much things, and they are they have judgmental problem. They have make they make bad judgment, and they feel that you now keeping quiet like you no, know, like as if it's some family issue. This is not a family issue. This is a national issue. You should not keep quiet. The first thing Reyasa can't do this kind of funny things. No, immediately expose her, put it press her. The I've been telling my friends that the right thing to do should be that within a week of knowing that um Reyasa can't have lied, they should immediately open a press conference. They should immediately let Reyasa Khan admit to her own fault that she lied but workers party do not need to sack her workers party could just say that we decided to allow her you know to be answerable to the residents and answerable to uh to the party because sacking her will mean one person down that she will continue to do her job to serve the residents she will do it to her best abilities because ultimately she's a good person just that she made a fall lead but in the next election, she will not be able to run. This will be the punishment, but she will stay within the party. She will continue to serve the people and try to help the party. And hopefully one day, when the people can forgive her, maybe she will run again. Maybe when she's more matured. That would be a perfect way to kind of like handle the situation. But instead, we got this shit, this shit show where it's all a mess. Until Yao Xin Leong, my freaking god, Yao Xin Leong appearing again to to corroborate the kind of mistreatment of a 
party member within the workers' party. This is so disappointing because I stay in Haugang for most of my life and um, we really love the workers' party but we really want an opposition party that got Liao. You know, got the substance and this is not the kind of substance that we expect. I will make another video uh, addressing more but I was originally wanting to talk about how the workers party can survive this saga what need to be done but then this came out and then it's like i need to talk about this first so anyway uh please like and subscribe to this channel uh so that you can so that i can feel more encouragement and more uh interested to create more such videos um i don't think there's a lot of people doing uh political stuff for singapore uh, at least political comment commentary on YouTube. I think not many. Um, I saw a few, but they are not very fair. Lah. So I'm I'm trying to be a, on the neutral ground and say, you know, a spade is a spade. Lah. So anyway, please subscribe. Uh, subscribe is very important. And like the video and I will see you in the next video.